All right. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Yeah. All right. Here we go now. All right. Here we go now. Still hearing a little echo. Um, okay, mute your mic. Let me see okay, something there. Okay. Mic check. Okay. All right. But we were fine all a while ago. I didn't have to mute mics. I, I don't understand where this echoing coming from all of a sudden. All right. All right. So today's lesson, we're going to be talking about the breaker returning. The breaker has returned. The breaker has returned. Last week, we discussed... We discussed the the topic um, being beautifully broken and what it means um, to be broken. Today we're going to be talking about the breaker himself returning because he's not only coming to break us, but he's coming to break the system and to break us free. From this captivity. That is why Yahusha is known as the breaker. He's known as many things. He's known as the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's known as our deliverer. He is known as our redeemer. He is known as our savior. But today, this particular attribute is critical for this time. He's also known as the breaker. Mm. All right. Yahusha said in us in the scriptures, I am the potter. You are the clay. My job is to mold you and to fashion you. And if you know anything about a potter, if something is not going right, he starts over again, he breaks it. He breaks it. And I'm, I'm so thankful that Yahuwah is continuing to break me. And I'm praying that he's breaking you as well. Because you don't want to be left whole for sin. Oh my. Let me say that again. You don't want to be left whole for sin. Right? Yahuwah says that you want to be vessels of honor not vessels of dishonor. Because if you are left whole for sin, you are a vessel of dishonor and you're going to be used by Hasatan. Hasatan knows who belongs to him and Hasatan knows what vessels to pour his vile iniquity and his wickedness in. That is why you're seeing so much chaos and so much destruction in this world today. And what distinguishes you from those who commit these sins and these atrocities is that you are constantly broken. Last week, we discussed how your flesh always wars with you and your desire to be God is always forefront, at the forefront. So this is why you have to be constantly broken. Because if you continue to operate in this godlike mentality, you understand? You will not adhere to Yahuwah's ways. You will not adhere to Torah. And the word will become null and void to you. I'm trying to make this lesson as simple as possible, right? Without going into too many um, details. But I'm gonna, I want to hit out these points quickly. Why has the breaker returned? You see, the breaker has come to separate the wicked from the righteous. The breaker has come to separate the wicked from the righteous. The sinful plans of man will be broken, not might be broken. We plan everything every day. Some men plan, plan for a week ahead, a month ahead. Some, some, some of these men have been planning for years. We talk about the Illuminati and the, the wicked schemes that they have. They've been planning for decades, for centuries. 
but all sinful plans of men will be broken. The wicked deeds of men will be exposed. This is the reason why the breaker is coming. The wicked deeds of men will be exposed. The unrepentant will be utterly destroyed. The unrepentant will be utterly destroyed. True prophets will be silenced. The breaker is coming also to silence true prophets because there's a time and there's a season for everything. If you will not hear, Yahuwah says, look, I'm going to shut up the mouths of the prophet. And here's what you'll get in return. False prophets will be exposed and shamed because in the meantime, you're going to be listening to these false prophets. And you're going to be shamed with them because you're following them. But chances are it'll be too late. Justice, and this is one of the crucial points, especially with all that is going on in America right now. Justice and order will be restored. Justice and order will be restored. And the last point is the breaker will destroy the gates and restore Yasharal. Hallelujah. The breaker will destroy the gates and restore Yasharal. What gates? The gates that are keeping us bound in captivity. Yahusha said the gates of hell cannot prevail. This is what the breaker is coming to do. Right? Um, and now the entire lesson the entire lesson is, is taken from Micah chapter 2 and Micah chapter 3 and we're going to read it and we're going to see all these points um, in these two chapters clearly and um, we, we, we are going to try and break this down but I want to give one little side note um, this particular scripture Matthew chapter 10 verse 35 to 37 and as the preamble um, I'm going to read it for I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foes shall be there of his own household he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Okay. Just lost this um, audio a while ago. Okay. No problem. Okay. Everything is good. Everything is good. Came back. Okay. So. We're going to stick a pin right there and we're going to come back. Let's go over some of these points, but we're going to read Micah chapter 2 and chapter 3. Sister um, Angelique, my wife, could you read Micah chapter 2? And uh, Sister Veli is going to read Micah chapter 3. The entire thing? Yeah, go ahead. The entire chapter? Okay. Woe to them that this that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Mm. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields and take them by violence, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Therefore, thus say Yahuwah, behold, Against this family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go heartily, for this time is evil. Mm. In that day, one shall take up a parable against you, and lament with a doleful lamentation, and say, We be utterly spoiled. 
either changed the portion of my people? How had he removed it from me, turning away he had divided all fields? Therefore, thou shalt have none that shall ha- that cast the cord by lot in the congregation of Yahuwah. Prophesy ye not, say they to them that prophesy, they shall not prophesy, to them that they shall not take shame. O thou that art named the house of Jacob, in the Ruach of Yahuwah straightened, are these his doings? Do not my words do good to them, to him that walk uprightly? Even of late, my people is risen up as an enemy. You pull off the robe with the garment from them that pass by securely, as men averse from war. The woman of my people have ye cast out of their pleasant houses. From their children have ye taken away my glory forever. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction if a man walking in the spirit and falsehood falsehood do lie saying i will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink he shall even be the prophet of this people and i will surely assemble o jacob all of thee i will surely gather the remnant of yasharal and I will put them together as the sheep of Basra, mm. as a flock in the midst of their fold. Hallelujah. They shall make great. They shall make great noise, by reason of the multitude of men. The breaker is come up before them. Mm. They have broken up and have passed through the gate, and are gone out of it. And the king shall pass before them, and Yahuwah on the head of them hallelujah all right sister veli you you continue with chapter three i i think my wording is going to be different okay go ahead yeah okay and i said listen you heads of jacob and rulers of the house of israel should you not know justice you Mm. who hate the good and love the evil, who tear the skin of my people and the flesh of the bones, who eat the flesh of my people, play the skin of them, break the bones in pieces, and mm-hmm. chop them up like meat in a kettle, like mm-hmm. flesh in a cauldron, then, then they will carry that. Then they will cry to the Lord, but He will not answer them. He will hide His face from them at that time. Because they have acted wickedly. Mm. Thus says the Lord concerning the prophets who lead my people astray, who cry peace when they have something to eat, but declare war against those who put nothing into their mouths. Therefore, it shall be night to you without vision, and the darkness to you without revelation. The sun shall go down upon the prophets, and the day shall be black over them. Mm. The seers shall be disgraced, and the mm. diviners put to shame. They shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer from God. Mercy. Wow. Wow. Yeah, keep reading there. And to Israel is sin. Hear this. You rulers of the house of Jacob and the chiefs of the house of Israel, who build Zion with blood and Jerusalem with blood, the rulers give judgment for a bride. Its priests keep for rights. Its prophets give oracles for money, yet they lean upon the Lord and say, Surely the Lord is bitter. No, therefore, because of you, Zion shall be plowed as a field. Jerusalem shall become a heap of ruins, and the mountains of the house a wooded height. Right? Mm. Mm. All right. All right. This, 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 this is a lot to take in. This is a lot to take in. Yeah. 
right? <laughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna try our best to get through it. May Yahuwah help me to divide this word rightfully. Um, the breaker has returned, and one of the first thing Yahuwah is going to do on his return, as I said, is to separate the wicked from the righteous. And one of the things, and this the, the first two points kind of tie in together because the wicked have their plans. The wicked have their plans. And in the very first chapter of Micah chapter 2, you see one of the biggest warnings you can ever see when, when, when the scripture speaks. It says, whoa. In biblical terms, when you see the word woe, it is the worst sort of calamity that could befall a man, a nation, or a people. Woe. Right? That means somebody dead, somebody dying, a whole village burning down. When you hear the word woe, you think of the worst thing possible to come. I know in the English language, um, everything is relevant, um, but language back then was um, much more practical. So you're seeing, woe to them who devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. As I admonished before, Christianity has taught us subliminally, even though they will say, no, we don't do that. Subliminally, they have taught us that if you sin in your mind, it's not as bad as if you do it. We know the pastor will preach, but yes, yes, comes from all, all, <laughs> yeah all sin will be brought into judgment every secret thing whether it be good yeah, yeah they, they cover their bases you know but the practice is if you're sinning in your mind you're, you, you, it's a good struggle to have you know so long as you're not working out the sin I, um, it's, it's, it's not as bad they give the impression that it's not as bad when the scripture says, as a man think it, so is he. Yes. As a man think it, so is he. One of the previous lessons I, I taught on, I specifically says the difference between a small sinner and a big sinner is just the lack of opportunity and resources. This is the reason why these big time um, the Epsteins of the world they get themselves in so much trouble because they have the money to fulfill all the fantasies that they want mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you poor so you, you, you might not go to the club every weekend so you might just choose once a month or for some people they just go carnival once a year save up all the money but if they had carnival every month and you could fly out to every single island to do it and you'd be like one of these trini passy people you would mm -hmm. The difference between yep. you and a notorious sinner is the lack of resources and opportunity. Now, this is why Yahuwah can't give everybody what they want. If he loves you, if he loves you, he'll only give you what you need. And if you get what you need, and you're still not content, he's going to break you. <laughs> if you get what you need, and you are still not content, he's going to break you. I am learning that the hard way. You mean to tell me, I have, you have seen my deliverance, I have brought you to so much difficulties, and you're still not serving me the way you should, I have to break you again. Because if you are my child, you can't be numbered among the wicked. 
if you're behaving like them, I'm gonna have to break. Do you know it's the same thing you do with your children? Mm-hmm. No matter that you discipline your children last week, you know. If you see them going around down a particular road and hanging around with certain people that you're not going to get them in trouble, you're going to break them. This is why Yahuwah said, spare not the rod, you're going to spoil the child. If you love your child, you're going to beat him. This is a part of the breaking process. In Yahuwah's case, he uses the rod of correction. Right? Um okay, hold on there. This 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 thing is saying that um gonna be up in ten minutes, so it might it might restart, eh? I didn't realize we were on a long that didn't happen the last time we went out for a good while. I said time trying all kind of thing this morning. Anyway, hold on. <laughs> Let me if it cuts out, we just come back in again, all right? Okay. Not to worry, not to worry. Because I'm gonna just splice everything together so it, it's smooth. Um, but not nonetheless, as I was saying. Um, Yahuwah is going to break us to keep us in line because once he comes to separate the wicked from the righteous and the elect, that's it you can't come back so this is why Yahuwah constantly saying, listen repent while the time is now repent while the time is today repent while the time is is that you still have life because once Yahuwah comes to separate you can't say sorry then you can't repent then he said let him who be righteous be righteous still let him that is wicked be wicked still so this is why you can't play around with salvation you can't play around with 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 with, with your 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 soul when it comes to being on the right side of Yahuwah, Yahuwah has two faces. A lot of people don't talk about this in church. There are two, there are two seats at Yahuwah, the mercy seat or the judgment seat. Yeah, when, so when Yahuwah says he turns his face from you, that means he, he turns his mm-hmm. mercy, he turns his grace, he turns his favor, he turns his father fatherhood from you. So now he's going to treat you like a bastard. So that means you're before the judgment seat. That's the face you're going to get the judge, not daddy. And we're going to read, this is what happened to some of these prophets. They were they literally were removed from the favor seat and put to the judgment seat. Because when the breaker comes, the breaker is coming to set back the order. And that's the most crucial part of this le- this lesson. Because everything is dysfunctional now. And Yahuwah made us to function. We're going to get into some Hebrew words um, uh, hopefully a little later on or um, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can put it in a lesson. The Hebrew words that, that literally describes function. What we are supposed to be doing in Yasharal, what we're supposed to be doing individually and what we're supposed to be doing in the family structure and what we're supposed to be doing in the assembly, the local assembly. Right, so there's four aspects to our function. So, Sister Veli, you 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 have to function as 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 a wife for your family. You have to function as as a participant in an assembly, a local one, and the local assembly now has to function for Yasharal. What are you doing in terms of praying for the whole nation coming back together? The breaker is looking at these things. So if you're not functioning in these roles, Yahuwah will come to break you. All right? Now, let's lead on into the second point. The sinful plans of men will be broken. So he says, Water them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. 
When the morning is light, they practice it because it is the power of their hand. In other words, they're able to do it. So at night, instead of you thinking the things which are godly, you know the scripture that says, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are lovely, think on these things. No, that's not what you do at night time. You're plotting evil. You're plotting wickedness. The Bible says, woe to you. So as I was saying before, this notion of the Christian church that says, oh, your, 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 whatever happens in your mind stays in your mind kind of thing. No, 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 no. Your mind is a playground for all sorts of iniquity. And this is the beginning of it. Because usually the things you act out, you thought about them before. Most times. Not all the time. Some people do some irrational things. But most times you would have, you would have willfully thought out what you're going to do. This is why the prophet said, Yahuwah, please, I pray, keep me back from presumptuous sin and let it have no dominion over me. Because presumptuous sin is some of the worst kind of sins. Even in our court system, you get into more trouble for premeditated murder than somebody aggravates you and you kill them. But if you plan to kill someone, you're going to do time. It's the same thing with Yahuwah. This is why this says, Whoa! Oh, oh, yes, so you're planning it. Oh, look at look at him fashioning out this guy. Yeah, I was seeing your thoughts, you know. Look at him planning out this evil. Huh? He done plotting which can he going. How you gonna work out and, and look at look at this, he actually plotting how you gonna get to where with it. As if I don't yeah. exist. As if I can mash up and break up that plan. Look at this. Whoa. So he continued on and said, look, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand and they covet fields and take by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. And this is especially happening to us black people today. We can't own nothing. When you own some, they still come and take it away. And they have our loophole of taxes your, your taxes out of date and they use everything to keep you down and they're still robbing, raping and plundering Yasharal today and many of you are still not praying for people like this but you, you, mm-hmm. and, and when you're praying you're still praying wrong enough because you, you, you're, you're so ready to pray for yeah, deal with the oppressor no let me pray for the individual because maybe there's still a curse on him why these things are happening. We don't, we don't, we don't think that way. Yahuwah, did you break him? Maybe he hasn't been broken as yet. That is why these things are happening. And we're going to read on to see that Yahuwah himself will cause the calamity because you and your bed thinking evil. And you're thinking that evil won't come to you. Have mercy upon us, Yahweh. Mm. The sinful plans of men will be broken. The wicked deeds of men will be exposed. Therefore, thus said Yahuwah, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I, I thought somewhere in the scripture that the, it, it said Yahoo is not the art of evil. <laughs> I, well, I could have swear I hear when they preach, especially when the hurricane comes. Oh, it's not. No, that's not the most high. Yahoo would have nothing to do with evil. This is this this rubbish duality that we we, we, we we practice in society, you know, as in Satan have 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 one set of power, God have one set of power, and they don't coincide. And I keep telling people all the time, Hasatan works for Yahuwah. <laughs> there is nothing in this world that happens by chance. Yah is in full control. So hold on. 
the scripture here say that Yahuwah devising an evil against I tell you, I tell you, we don't know you, you know. <laughs> we think we know you, you know. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. think we know you, you know. And this is why the, the, this, the, 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 the text started with a war, you know. Because it's one thing when a man planning for you, you know. But when the most higher plan for you, tall. <laughs> that is like double war. <laughs> Hey, I, I have to let me let me read this again, man. He says, "Look, um, woe to the evildoers." All right, I right, just mute your mic, there a sec. All right, so let me continue here. Um, so we were at the point where we were discussing um, the wicked deeds of men will be exposed and he says look therefore thus said Yahuwah behold against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks neither shall ye go heartily for this time is evil neither shall ye go heart in other words you see how you're walking in the streets proud when i done with you everybody everybody gonna look at you and you're gonna be ashamed My. listen that's a serious thing you know because most of us function in society right what is it most of us function in society by the fact that we are re, we, we, we are seen as respectable. We are seen as um hold on a second. Here. Sister Velia still there? I think we lost Sister Velia. Hold on here. Uh, Sister Velia is like your, your camera frozen there, so I'm not too sure if it's still there. If you're going to unmute your mic and let me know. I'm right here. I'm here. I'm okay, good. Here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, good, good. I'm here. I, I, All right. I, I so, can hear everything. No problem. Good. Gotcha. I, ca so, I, I can hear everything. I, I heard everything. Yeah. All right, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, is a situation mm -hmm. where Yahuwah himself will bring you to naught. So, you're accustomed to walking around the place and you're proud because I mean things are well with you. You probably have some money in the bank. You you have a nice house. Your children are respected. But you who devise wicked and evil on your bed, Yahuwah said, when I done with you, you're not going to ever show your face in the street. Have mercy on us, Yahuwah. You got always want to stay in your house because people are going to be laughing you to scorn when I done with you this evil and trust me that that's the worst thing you can do to a man you know take his pride take his dignity it's the worst thing you can do to a man look here man from which he shall not remove your necks neither shall ye go heartily for this time is evil. In the day, in that day, shall one take up a parable against you. Oh my. Oh my. You know, they're going to start singing a song for you. When Yahoo are done with you, they're going to write a song. <laughs> they're going to write a song about you. Watch you now. He used to have big this and big that. Now he had a tall. They're going to make up a song about you. This is like shame on top of shame. This is one of the reasons why it's... This is one of the reasons why it's not good to take vengeance on people, you know. This is why Yahuwah said, vengeance belongs to me, you know. Let me deal with them. Because when I don't deal with them, as the old saying go, dog, 
dog will go better than them. You will see a dog cross the street and give it more deference and respect than this man. Ah, uh, boy. And don't you know this is a part of the curse? This is why you don't, you don't notice how there are more laws in the books to protect dogs than they are to protect a black man. Don't forget who put us here, you know. It's Yahweh now. When you're under the hand of Yahuwah, a dog better than you. <laughs> the dog have more rights than you. <laughs> In the States, you get into trouble if you abuse an animal quicker than you ab abuse a black man. You don't want to be in front of Yah's judgment seat. Oh, here comes the breaker. Here comes the breaker. She says, look, let me read the next verse here now. In that day shall one take up a parable against you and lament with a, a doleful lamentation and say, we be utterly spoiled in order to make up, they make up a song. You mash up, you're done with, you're utterly spoiled. That's what this verse is, mock, they're mocking you and jeering you. We be utterly spoiled. He had changed the portion of my people. <laughs> How had he removed it from me? Turning away, he had divided our fields. He had the, the most I take away your land and your property. When the most I bring you to naught, he will strip you of every single thing. Because he knows the reason why you walk haughtily and proud as if you don't need him is because of your possessions. And your standing in society. So if Yahuwah take away your possession, your standing in society goes automatically because you know how fickle we are as people. <laughs> Most of us only smile with people who have things. Most of us only take advice from people who look like they belong. Yeah. Let's be honest now. <laughs> so if you take away one, the other one automatically go. Mm -mm. My goodness. Look at how the breaker moves. Now, in this, for the, for, yeah. for, for the believer who this happens to, it is actually a blessing, not a curse. Because the breaker now wants you to repent. He says, I, one of the first commandments is, thou shalt not have any other gods before me. So if he removes these idols, the things that you hold dearer than him, that is why we read the preamble earlier on and we were discussing Matthew 10, 35, 37. So he said, look, I come to set a variance. I come to set a difference, a distinction <laughs> against certain things. Right? Because you can't love anything more than me. You can't love anything more than me. For the, for, the, for the believer, he will break you. For the wicked, he will destroy you. Right? So it rolls into the next point. The unrepentant will be utterly destroyed will be utterly destroyed right so in verse 5 it says look therefore thou shalt have none that shall cast a card by lot in the congregation of Yahuwah 
because earlier mm-hmm. it was this it is discussing about um dividing the fields so now you're talking about nobody in the assembly can help you mark out your plot because they can take away a lot right um not this particular mm-hmm. point i'm gonna have to jump to the verse let me see now hold on here hold on here hold on here Oh my, I was looking for a particular verse for this one. Ah, okay, I'm gonna come back to this one. When I find it, I'm gonna post it up. I'm gonna come back to that one. But ultimately, the wicked is going to be destroyed. Because if you are unrepentant, if you are unrepentant, that means the breaking process that Yahuwah is putting you through is not effective. So Yahuwah says, all right, you, you don't want to be broken. You don't want to turn from your sins and turn from your evil ways. I will turn from you. I was looking for that particular scripture. I will turn from you. And when Yahuwah turns from you, turns his favor, turns his grace turns his mercy turns his long suffering nature from you that's it you are cut off you are cut off Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you, Sudan. Micah chapter 3, verse 4. Then shall they cry unto Yahuwah, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time. And they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. My goodness. Hide, hide his home. It's good to say, man. Micah chapter 3, verse 4. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Let's get back on track now. So one of the things that is going to be happening is the true prophets will be silenced. The true prophets are going to be silent in this day. When the breaker comes. Because all the time, the prophets were acting as the representatives So when he shows up, the true prophets are going to be silenced. How, how, how so? How so? If you read the scripture here, in verse 6 of chapter 2 of Micah, it says, Prophesy ye not. Prophesy ye not. Say then, say they to them that prophesy. Ah, the new King James had, a, had, a, had another word for it. Oh boy, I think it said pale, pale. Um, but it, it has it has a denotation of your chat too much, your chat too long. One make you hours a chat, one make you hours a one. That that is the that is what the writer was trying to, to portray here, right? This 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 particular one doesn't do justice. Why are you chatting so? You're always a chat. That is what they literally say to those people who are warning them of wrath to come. Today. You're, you're woke, you're Hebrew, and you're telling people, Yahweh is coming back for his people. Turn from your sins. Repent, repent. Oh, oh you chat too much. You're always a chat. You're always a, that is literally what this verse is saying. Prophesy ye not. Hush, hush, little. Hush a bit. We don't want to hear that. As the story goes back then, when certain prophets would appear, especially during Jeremiah days, they used to burn his letters, you know. We didn't even want to read the... Because once the prophecy has come to you, 
judgment is automatically enacted. So if you don't obey, you, you're judged. Yahuwah is a fear Elohim, you know, if you don't hear, <laughs> he don't necessarily come as quick. So this is why they used to kill the prophets. Oh boy. <laughs> this is why they used to kill the prophets. This is why they throw down is is is, is Jeremiah or Ezekiel. Throw them down in the pit. We don't want to hear no more. Yeah, Jeremiah. We don't want to hear no more. Because we know once you tell us and we don't adhere, Yahoo is going to judge us immediately. So when the breaker comes, he said, all right, my prophet's there, you know, listening, hush. Let, all right, men are hush, okay, they will hush. They will hush. You don't want to prophesy, okay, no problem. Remember the warning, you, a whole cliff before you. You're partying in your carnival and you're walking towards the cliff with a job to your death. And somebody warning you to say, hey, a cliff down the road, you know. Don't go no further, oh, you chat too much. You're, you're messing up my phone right now. Oh, you don't want to hear? Okay, hush. Lay low. Continue on the road to perdition. <laughs> Continue on the road to hell. Go ahead. Go ahead. You don't want a warning? No problem. No problem. So verse 2. Oh, that thou art named the house of Jacob in the spirit of Yahuwah. Uh, uh, is the spirit of Yahuwah straight in it? Are these his doings? Do not my words do good to him that walketh uprightly? Wait, isn't the spirit here to do good? Isn't the warning for your benefit? So what, what, are we chatting this out of our own mouth? You ask hush. Oh, what kind of people this? What kind of wicked people this? That warning coming. And you want to kill the messenger. <laughs> hey, you want to kill the messenger. So this is why Yahuwah have to come to break them or destroy them. Even of late, my people is risen up as an enemy. You pull off the robe with the garments from them that pass by securely as men averse from war. Right? God and treating the prophets. The women of my people have ye cast out from their pleasant houses. From their children have ye taken away my glory forever. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. If a man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, hear this now saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink. The actual translation for strong drink here is beer. Right? Um, they used to... Um, me and my wife were having a discussion if they had wine and, and beer back in, in the Israel days. I, mean, I actually did the research for this. This strong drink is actually beer. Um, we know in Africa they have stuff like palm wine. Um, the Hamites used to to get the sap from the tree and ferment it. Um, it's the same thing they would do with the, the grapes. But they also had beer sweetheart. Yes, they did. But this strong drink is actually the beer. So, the man said, let me prophesy, as, as, as I gave the analogy before the carnival. Quote, a perfect analogy. Let me, no man, we can continue to have a good time. Nobody can shut this party down. Everything is going to be fine. So you just like in carnival in the Caribbean, we bring the priest and the Pope to come bless it. All is well. All will be well. We're praying for a peaceful jump up and a peaceful bacchanal and a peaceful sinning against the Most High and nothing tall will, will happen to us. Wow. <laughs> so here, here, here the scripture say here now. Right? So if a man walk in in the spirit and falsehood do lies, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink. He shall even be the prophet for this people. So guess what? That is the prophet I will give to you. That is who you deserve. 
that is who you deserve so you have all these pastors now having all these truths available to them the chatter is out everybody talking about who the people everybody talking about christianity and its pagan origins everybody talking about the the the, the misuse of grace and how we are to stop sinning and go back to Torah. Everybody talking about this. They don't even want to debate it. Don't even want to. So Yahuwah said, look, that is the prophet you want. Go ahead. That is your prophet. Take it. Because ain't nothing my, my, tall my. break you like the truth. So you want the lie? Take that is the prophet wow. for you. And there is a precept for this. The scriptures say, I will send them strong delusion. The spirit delusion. of a lie. Yeah. Of a lie. The spirit of a lie. This is the, the, is the most I say, you know, this is the prophet you deserve. You know, um, Go ahead. You know, um, there used to be this program on on Observer. Um, I, I, it's a biblical biblical connection, something like yeah, that. I, I Pastor know that. Paul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, they blocked me. They blocked me. They blocked me. They blocked me. Because the questions I put to them, they don't want to answer it. They had blocked me too. And they have Pastor. They have Pastor Bell, the, the white guy. I mean, I mean. Oh, I, I, I can't I probably, remember. I, I probably very gave funny. him. I probably they, gave it two words a couple me. of times. Yeah. <laughs> they blocked me. They don't want wow. to anything about Israel. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. They, they have the replacement theology. The replacement theology. That, yes. that, that is right. like going to say so. Spiritual, and they had, they had one guy there. I, I, I can't um, believe they have Pastor Bell. The other guy who believes that we the are Israel. Guy. What's his name? Um, Chandler Codrita. I, I don't know if he's still there. Chandler, oh yes, oh yes, yeah. Chandler, Chandler. They, it was Pastor Bell, Pastor Chandler, and Pastor Paul. And after a right. while, they on his case, man. And I had to, I had to call in, mm-hmm. and I mm. called in a few times, and they, they blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to hear anything about it. I can't believe what is wrong. No, because I can't believe that they can't, they can't see, they can't. No. They think that we're no, the one in the strong no. delusion. They're, and, and they're the ones who refuse to go and, and, and research. Um, I was said. watching another Moray giving um, a wonderful, wonderful lesson there. I, 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 what's his name? From the Ark. Um, he was talking about the Queen of Sheba traveling three years to find the truth when she went to go look for Solomon. The journey mm-hmm. took three years, and there's only one thing she wanted to know: no, who is the real Elohim? Mm. And she traveling three years, and a pastor would take two minutes to go on Google. Let you me know, tell you, the breaker is coming. The breaker is coming. And when, and when he starts to break people, and Yahuwah says, you're not going to break them in secret. You know, hear the most? I said, they're going to write a song about you. Public All thing. these pastors are going to be put to shame. Mm-hmm. Now, before you jump up on the bang rag and take attack the pastors, examine yourself first, because he's coming to break you too. He's coming to break you too. So you have to make sure that you are in his order don't worry about people people to talk people to say things you're crazy you're, you're in this culture in this madness but you know you're in the truth because when you go in this word and you start dividing this word and they have no answers for you because they can't contend with the truth who's the fool and when when, when they get confused you know they always go back to well the pastor say the pastor say the pastor say the pastor say no no what did the king say what did yahusha say no the pastor say 
he know best. He went to, mm -hmm. he has his degree, mm -hmm. he has his doctorate. He went to the school, the seminaries. He should know better. And I rely on him. So you trust a man. The Bible says, woe. We talk about this woe business. Woe to the man that put his confidence in man, you know. In man. Woe to that, woe to that man that puts his confidence in man. Let everything that comes out of your mouth is, what did the king say? What did Yahusha say? What did Yahusha yeah. do? Yeah. yeah. The apostle Paul, Peter, all of them writing books. But ultimately, we don't follow Paul, we don't follow Peter. What did the king say? Anytime you don't understand anything, you know, just go back to the basics. Yahusha said, I have come to show you how to live. But in this case, I have come to set variance. Oh my, I'm going back to this verse. I'm going to hit this verse over and over again. Because this is a part of the breaking. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. How was son going to go against his father, man? Are you supposed to be a curse? And a daughter against his mo her mother. And a daughter against... A, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be who? Son household. No, the outsiders. No, the other countrymen. No, it's the Syrian, the white people. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Your it's own house. your own house, house is your own people giving you the most grief. It's true now. It's true. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's your own people gonna give you the most horrors. Mm. My wife and I can testify to that. They think we're plum crazy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Who is this Yahua? But you're not gonna take the time to look it up. You know? Every minute, every minute you're talking about most high, mm -hmm. most high. I'm like, look, it's right here in the Bible, you know, look at it right here. Look at the Psalms right here. Look, 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 right here. Mm. Every minute this Mosai, you can't say God, you can't say God. No, no, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a serious thing. He says, he that loveth father, mother, more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy yep. of me. Worthy. I tell you, one of the hardest things is when Abraham had to take up his son as he waited for 80 years for. For the carry and the sacrifice. At one point, he had to ask, is, is, is this the God of my fathers? Is it really you? You asked me to do this? Yahweh say, if you love your child more than me, you're not worthy. You're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. You're not broken enough. You're not broken enough. You see, because when a man is broken, when you have been put to naught, when you even know sometimes, even when you're down and you're and, and you don't know sometimes, your own mother forsake you, your own father forsake you. Yahuwah says, "Look, when your mm -hmm, father and mother mm -hmm, forsake you, mm -hmm. I will take you up." I, I am a friend yeah. that sticks closer oh, than a yeah. brother. There's a reason why he's saying these things. Because when you're when you're when you're down on your last, when you're down on your last, it's only it's only Yahuwah can lift you up. And Yahuwah will show you you, 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 you see what I'm talking about. You see, Job knew this. So he said, let me tell you something. Naked came I out of my mother's womb. Sure. And he's naked, I got return. Blessed be the name of Yahuwah. Because it's you give me life. Not my mother. Is you give me life. You're the one that sustained me. Not my brother. Is you. Is you the one that comfort me. Not yeah. my wife. Is you. Mm -hmm. The reason why you don't realize these truths is because you have not been broken. That is why most people that go to jail get saved, you know. 
because it's only when you're at your lowest point you can start to see truths. True. Sure. This is why people have terminal cancer get saved, you know, because it's only when you realize everything is going from you, you realize what you really need to keep. Ah, oh, my, 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 my. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the breaker is returning to set everything in order. Right? And, and, and one of the things we said, the false prophets are going to be exposed and they're going to be shamed. Right? And I don't, I don't even want to go into that too much, you know, because it's, it's, it's a hard thing. Because a lot of these prophets here, they do everything for money and for fame. Everything for money. And beware of people who teach. And we're not going to ask you for no donation. We, we, we are right. <laughs> the, the Apostle Paul and them, Yahusha yeah, yeah, warned them. When you hear you go, the, the take none from the man. If somebody wants to give you something, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. say thank you. But when you're going, work. It's, in fact, find work to do. We talk about being a servitude in the last, in the last lesson. A, a servant. And, and, and the importance of servitude and giving. So I'm weary of these people who I was asking for donation, you know. You're teaching, you're teaching what is, is the, the so-called gospel, the good news. But you're always asking for donations. You're always asking for begging. You're always begging. Patron account and all them kind of stuff. No, no, no. Go do them stuff when you, if, you're selling, if you're selling wood and cheese and clothes. The, the good news is free. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And look, it's right here in the verse, you know. Look, look, look at it right here. Thus said uh, Yahuwah concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth and cry, peace. And he that put it not into their mouths, they even prepare war against them. Oh, Lord. Let me read that again. Mm -hmm. Does say Yahuwah concerning the prophets that make my people earth, okay. that bite with their teeth and cry, peace. And in that, put it not into their mouths. And in that, put it not into their mouths. They even prepare war against them. So if you're not ready for give them money, mm. the peace stay. Wow. And they go war against those who not put the food in their mouth. What a shame. The NIV actually um, dealt with this text a little better now. Why? If I could have pulled it up there. Right? But the time go run out, so I don't want that to happen again. Right? Um, but Yahuwah said, Therefore, night shall be unto you that ye shall not have a vision, and it sh shall be dark unto you that ye shall not divine, and the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. They shall Then shall the seers be ashamed, and the diviners confounded. You're not getting no more vision. You're not getting no more prophecy. Most of these pastors here, right? The most I will just have like a mercy on them when they divide in the scriptures, you know, to give a good word. The Yahweh are, are shutting up heaven. Because all you want mm. is fame and money. You bite with the teeth. It's only peace when things good with you. Oh my goodness. It's only peace when it things good with you. And you war against those who don't put the food in your mouth. Your mouth. Give me a donation. Make sure you pay mm. tithes. Make sure you pay offering. Building fun. It's everything is always about money. Every sermon about money. And now we have people in the Hebrew awakening doing the same thing. Doing the same thing. Same. 
What could be hard to just get on YouTube and just YouTube is free. YouTube not charge you nothing. So why are you charging people? They send me the breaker is coming. The breaker yeah, is coming. Yeah. Hey, if you want to donate to somebody that you feel is been is blessing you, I don't have no problem with that. No ask for it. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No ask for it. I make me feel yeah. lesser. It should be free. free. I'm gonna bite with your teeth. The breaker is coming to set mm. everything in order, which is the next point. Justice and order will be restored. We don't need no march, no black lives, no no black lives matter march. If you don't know in 2020 that black lives matter, something wrong with you. You can't see the curse. Mm. I listened to something so powerful. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and put up a little video on this that um. That cricketer, what's his name? Um, Holden, Michael Holden said uh, recently in, mm-hmm. in, in um, this um, test series here. I'm going to try and put it up because uh, um, I have it. And, yeah, I'm going to try and put it up. But I mean, at the That's end of the day, yesterday. if you in 2020 have to be talking about Black Lives, something wrong. It's, it's, it's a systemic form of injustice that we've been having for centuries. And a lot of these white people don't even know why they're racist. And it's like Holden said, it's like osmosis is just seeping to you. It just seep into you. And you, you just always want to look as the black man as, as, as a troublemaker and trouble. Yahuwah is the breaker is coming to set things in order. And when the world find out that the breaker is a black man, Oh boy, we don't talk about this. I don't talk about color latching up, but let me tell you, he has his place. When the world finds out that the breaker is a Negro, black man, oh, it's where you <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so let, let, let me finish up. Um, I said justice and order will be restored. Right? And Finally, the breaker will destroy the gates and restore Yasharal. Right? So I'm just going to um, read again Micah chapter 2, verse 12. Where he says, I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely gather the remnant of Yasharal. I will put them together as yeah. the sheep of Bozra, Bo, uh, Bozra, as the flock in the midst of their fold. They shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. It is so much, it's so much of us that Yahuwah is going to gather. You're talking about the remnant from America, the remnant from Canada, New Zealand, England, Brazil, mm. all of South America, all of the millions in the islands here, from Antigua, Barbados, Dominica, St. Lucia, Trinidad, Guyana, Suriname. Then you have to gather all those in the, um, in the, that are scattered in Africa as well, in, in the mm. other European countries. So when Yahuwah brings us all together, it is going to be a great no- Can you imagine that noise? That mm. will be the noise of freedom. My goodness. Not liberty. Freedom. There's a difference. <laughs> right? So it's saying here, it says, I will put them together as the sheep of Bozrah and the flock in the midst of their fold. They shall make great noise by the reason of the multitude of men. The breaker is come up before them. The breaker is come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gates. Let me pause right there. They have broken up and have 
pass through the gate. Yahuwah also speaks of passing under the rod. Yahuwah speaks of separating the goats from the sheep. Yahuwah speaks of separating even the rebels mm-hmm. from Israel. Because not all that say they Israel are of Israel. So Yahuwah just yeah. mashing up, mashing up, breaking up, breaking up, separating, separating as he goes. So by the time we come into the wilderness now, we would have been thoroughly broken and broken up. So when he separate the rebels and all those people who waking up into Kemet and all this other rubbish, and you want to have 15 wife, and you want you, you want to keep in Torah only and no, no more Messiah, and all this, 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 and this weakness of Christianity. When he already separates that and he has the remnant who is serving him with a with a whole heart and they're worshiping him in spirit and in truth. That's the remnant that's going to go into the wilderness, you know. And when he's calling us out and we're like a great multitude, Mm -hmm. we will sing and we will rejoice. Hallelujah. For we are finally free of Babylon. We are finally free from captivity. Go ahead, sis. You know, you know, my my very first experience with um, quote unquote Israel here was a bad one. Have oh you my. ever met this guy in there? There's this guy called Israel. In he's Antigua? Doing so, yeah, sometimes he's by, by um, the cinema with his, no, his not, local drinks. Not really, but go ahead. He wears, he wears, he wears fringes too. Oh my. And he was the first person who actually started telling me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then when I looked at it, my, my spirit was kind of revolt, revolt against it because their thing is they believe in having multiple wives and i'm like oh my goodness mm. that's what they're in that for actually there's a guy who lives who lives right now with two wives oh my oh my oh my oh my so all the guys who in that all the guys in that cult this is what they have on their mind they can have one wow yeah it's it's it's, it's just uh-huh. like they they won't go to Israel. It, it, it's, it's like it's like second it's There's like so second Thessalonians five twenty I believe yeah you have to test the spirit you know you have to test the spirit and one of the ways you know like, you, you know who who is who is if people are using the word to consume it upon their own loss mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right. Loss for money, loss for women, loss for for position and 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 hey look, I am a more eh? once you see these things, you usually can tell that these people are not of yeah, you know. That is why I'm very careful yeah, and, even and, and you feel yeah. you feel so cautious because um there's a person who I met recently who says the Israel and mm. I'm like mm-hmm. The the push is so much for money, selling something. I'm like, I just got them. It's like, no. But I think I, I need to tell that person that. It's like they're getting wow. so they're so they're so blatant. You know, it's so blatant. Yes, yeah, we have to live, we have to survive. But then it's like it's coming in too hard when it comes to that. It's like, whew. You, you usually can discern this. And Yahuwah has given you that spirit of discernment that you can see this early. And there's nothing wrong to support your fellow, your your, your brother. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because that is a part of the curse too, that we support the, the white people, the Chinese, everybody else, before we support our own. However, you can tell a man's motive by what nice. he speaks of the most. Yeah. You tell a man's motive. You tell a man, you can tell what a man loves by first, what he very speaks first the most. One. It looks like they were like trying to get women uh-huh. into that 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 cult. It's uh-huh. like this thing was having more than one wife. I'm like, what? This is Listen. <laughs> Listen, you you yeah, you have wrong. to you have to run from that 
um, and run from people like that. You know, don't even have no conversations with them because ultimately yeah. some people are just not going to change. And this is why Yahuwah keeps saying, when I come, let the righteous be righteous still and let the wicked be wicked still. No, 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 because I, I, I didn't come now to go fix nobody. You know, I come to separate. I come to break. I come to set at variance. <laughs> I come to put a, a husband against his wife. I come to put a son against his father. This is mm. what I come to do now. The time for reconciliation is done. This is the only way we're in, you know. You, you got to choose side. You're either in or you're out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's a personal thing. My goodness. So, so on that yeah. note. Yeah. Right? So he says, the breakers come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and gone out by it. And their king shall pass before them. And Hallelujah. Yahuwah, and Yahuwah on the head of them. Yes. On the head of them. Of them. Mm. That is the seal. That is the seal. Oh, I am. Um, I was thinking that it meant that he was a shepherd. Oh, he's so the a shepherd. shepherd. Goes before. Oh, he goes before. Before the sheep and the flock, as the king, um, as the yeah, protector, yeah. as the all leader. All that, is, all that is true. But even though this is on the head, on, on, not at the head, no, on, <laughs> on. My so not only is not at the head. You all have at the head. Well, all, all mm -hmm. terminologies is the same. Because mm -hmm. my sheep okay. hear my voice and they know me. They belong to me. We branded. We are branded by Yahusha Hamashiach. Yeah. His blood is what seals us. Uh, yeah. So whether it's on, in, or no, at. Voice. Whether it's on, in, or at. Once Yahusha is there. And we are with him. We're free. Oh boy. And so, <laughs> and so, so we're with the breaker now. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, so in other words, it's, 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 it's no, you have reason to rejoice and to be proud again. Because you see now you're gathered, I'm going to be in the midst of you. I'm going to be leading you back. Not Moses. Not Moses. I am going to be leading you back to the promised land. I am going to be leading you to Zion. And when we're there, you are going to reign with me a thousand years. Listen, man. We don't want to make this lesson too difficult. Because the breaker cannot bring whole people in sin into Zion. Cannot. So, and, 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 and in order for him, when the breaker comes, he's going to be breaking the gates of hell that hold us bound. Let me tell you something. You, know, you see when Babylon, I don't care that you, that you have a nice house and things go to you, you know. It's hell in, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why the scripture says, can these dead bones live? Can they awaken to the truth? Can they awaken to back to their heritage? Can you actually remember who your Elohim is? Is dead with dead in hell here? You know? This is literal hell on earth. And this is, and, and people are so... Prefer, yeah, go ahead. A lot of us, we're so, we're, a lot of us, we are so comfortable. We don't want to hear anything uh, Yes. Else. Israel yeah. is at rest. We, we go. Is, we go Israel over is yeah. at rest. Yeah. That is the report. Can you imagine? They rape, they kill, they hmm. steal their forefathers. And the children, look at them, they're at rest. Mm -hmm. They don't want a vengeance. They don't want a justice. 
They don't want no reparations. They're good. Just give them a job because and a work is, and a title. Life is good. Life is mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. As long as they have a right. job, a work, right. and a title, they can, they can smoke some weed, drink some rum, things good. And, and of course, it's uh, us Caribbean it's people, me. as long as we can party, we good. They at rest. They want the American dream. They want the That's Caribbean great. dream. They want the beach house. Or the big farm. They want the dream. In captivity, they want the dream. No, it's not to say Yahuwah, if you're, if you're a billion, Yahuwah will not bless you in this land, you know. Because Yahuwah's grace will follow you wherever you go. His mercies will follow you wherever you go. Yeah. But we never look at the big picture. We never say, this is not our homeland and we're trying to go back home and restore our people. We're just comfortable. And we always want to fit in in the system that is there to keep us down and to destroy us. We're sick and we die and we don't know why. Because the system tells us what to eat. The system tells us um, how we should live. And the very way we're living is killing us. Among West Indians, we suffer from the highest, um, ty- uh, we, we, the highest um, forms of diabetes and hypertension. Highest rates. Hmm. Because of what they did to us. Because, because, you know, and... The salt and fish. And of course. The mm. And since we I love a salt fish, you know. Everything's salt. <laughs> This is a very, this is a very, the 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 man sun. don't pass. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's slavery days. It's all them slavery diet. You know, mm-hmm. having us slavery defiling diet. our body with the pig and the swine and, mm-hmm. eh? And the ma. Are we glorified right now? We glorified you know? right now. Ma oh, and the pigtail oh, and oh, blood pudding. It's, oh, it's a Yeah. Do you know yeah. how, right how, footed. <laughs> do you know how demonic a blood pudding is? I'm not even talking about defiling. You know how demonic a blood pudding is? Do you know blood pudding actually has its origins as far back as as um, the, the, the Moabites um, and, and Baal worship? I got to do a study in that, you know. Mm-hmm. The most I used to warn us about drinking blood, you know. Because drinking blood is a practice of voodoo and witchcraft and and these other um, demonic um, entities and forces. This is how they worship their God. And we here in Antigua and the other Caribbean islands, every Saturday and Sunday, partake in blood pudding. We're cursing ourselves in, in ways that we don't even know. Even when I wasn't awoke, I knew something was wrong with this, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what came, what got into me when I was like, I was like 10, mm. 11, the year before I did my common entrance. Um, mm-hmm. There's something in me, I don't know. My, all my sisters, well, everybody say, oh, they call me fully because the things that, that drive them doesn't drive me. Uh-huh. So she took fully, she this and that. My, my sister came, my elder sister came from St. Martin and she took everybody out on, to, to the town one night, a night mm. to the town. At this restaurant, this disco place. They had a restaurant and disco, and they mm. ordered pork, sauce. Everybody, I mm. said, mm-hmm. I just had this thing against sauce and pork. Mm. Said, oh, you fool, you fool. I said, I'm okay, I'm good. Even the coke I rejected. I was I was 11. Uh-huh. I don't know. I was that like different. Wow. I said, oh, it's all it's all quiet and she's not fooling. So you don't you don't sit there and wait on us. And they went into the disco. When I peep, there was lights going around. Give uh-huh. full lights and I'm like sitting and waiting on everybody. And they were enjoying themselves and I was just sitting uh-huh. and waiting on myself. Oh, I think fully little and fully. My mom, they tried to get me into carnival school too. That was the mm. worst thing she ever did. Since, <laughs> since at that age, I had that thing. I can't, I can't, I can't revel. I my can't. Wife, my wife have a testimony of that too. <laughs> Waste, <laughs> wasted, wasted her money. Put in uh-huh. a nice maxi. The, the school band was portraying the sun, moon, and the stars. I was like, this was the sky. Mm. 
the little little silver sprinkle for the stars. Mm. And I walked, I walked right through. I walked. I was just like, oh, she wasted the money. Not her again with me. Because everybody dancing and I'm just walking. <laughs> for from till that time, uh-huh. my my job on Carnival Day was to walk on the side of the band because she was in the carnival band with the ladies and so uh-huh. and to walk and follow the band on the side and i was happy on the sidewalk following the band and watching them and then them. but it looks so stupid to me because I, I kind of portray them otherwise on carnival so look at them uh, right, yeah. right. Let me try. In the office. they look so stupid doing I, on the road and i'm no, like no matter the time, they look hard. so stupid to me <laughs> no matter how hard i try to enjoy <laughs> them the money you know, when I was younger, I no matter how, no matter how hard I tried to enjoy myself in carnival and them kind of thing, I never felt comfortable, you know. And I remember one person looking at me and saying, Oops, "What hit? What happened? Yeah. You're, you're not a pastor. Where do you? You know." And here I was like 17 years old, you know, and this man was already prophesying <laughs> what I would become. Mm, right. And you say that, Pastor, yes, yes. I say, well, how, you, where you know me from? You don't know me. But I felt so convicted. I went home. This thing, this, this, this jumping up thing not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. And Yahuwah will preserve his own. Pudding, yeah? The bread pudding. The bread um, pudding. The rice pudding. The poor from an early age. Something tell me, no. I'm not in no. that. I was just married. Well, well. <laughs> Hallelujah, Yahuwah has, has yeah. brought us out of a lot. And we're going to continue to pray that Yahuwah will um, lead us into more truth, but to, to find us being obedient to his word. Because ultimately, he's going to break us when we're disobedient. He's going to break us when we're not following his way. And in this time, we really have to tighten up. We really have to find ourselves in a position where we are going all out to, 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 to seek Yahuwah and to be pure in everything is only he who has clean hands and a pure heart will see Yahuwah it, 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 it don't go no other way so if you're not pure in spirit and pure in mind you're in trouble and you have to pray that the breaker will break you and not destroy you. But one of the two things are going to happen when you come under the crushing hands of the Almighty. He will either temper his hand with mercy or his full wrath will come down and destroy you. It's one of the two. It's one of the two. So you have to make up your mind. Listen, I am going to stay under the mercy seat of Yahuwah I'm going to live holy. I am going to be perfect because he said to be perfect. Right? I'm going to be done with sin. That is the every lesson I come on. I'm going to be saying the same thing over and over. Right? I'm going to be one of them so-called prophets that they can tell shut your mouth, you chat too much. Say, oh, done with sin. Done with sin. Done with the same thing over and over. Done with sin. As uh, else sin I got done you. To those Caribbean people, you understand. Sin I got done you if you're not done with sin. Right? It, I just the other day, we, we were having such, my wife and I, we, the, the little personal testimony. We were having a wonderful time because we were walking in the Ruach and in the spirit. Right? And one night I just went to sleep and some thoughts came to my head and everything mash up. And this is why I'm trying to tell you, you, know, you, you don't have to sin indeed. You sin in thought as well. And Yahuwah said, no, 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 no. You know better than that. I'm going to judge you for that too. And then all of a sudden, you don't feel the presence of Yahuwah with you. Because you defile your temple. You defile yourself. And you have to tell yourself now, look. Every day I get up, Yahuwah, please break me. Just in case there is something in me that wants to rise up against your word. Yahuwah, break me today. Let me start my day right. I need to be broken by the breaker. So that he could literally 
have his way with me and I could walk and now when I walk I walk worthy of the calling that he's put before me because the worst thing you can do is now knowing all this truth now knowing all this um um this 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 knowledge of the Hebrew faith and you're not mm-hmm. walking worthy because you're going back to all old ways and old fallacies and old beliefs you're literally going back to your vomit because you feel you feel um yahoo not taking sin that seriously as we discussed last week we're looking for this christianity changing the twinkling of an eye in terms of our um righteousness and how holy we are oh nobody perfect now nobody holy now so it's, we have to wait until Yahweh come and zap a zoop and you're going to be holy and you're going to be righteous and no wicked talk will be in you. No, 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 no. You see, you're not dying to yourself daily. You're not killing. It's when you start to do these things that you slap the, fa- yeah. the flavor of sin out of your mouth and out of your mind. Mm-hmm. Is when you're truly changed and transformed. So when you're transformed, Yahweh is just transforming you to the image that other people can't really see. Because you have you've done away with sin, and so now in Yahuwah's eye, you're done perfect. You're holy, but other people can't really see it, you know. So when Yah when Yahusha comes and you're transformed into the image that you're supposed to be, where now you have a glorified body, people can now see uh, 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 who that they will see. But it's 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 not the reverse, it's not that oh you're filthy and I just keep on harping the scripture let him that be filthy be filthy still let him that be righteous be righteous still see when you strive for perfection in Yahuwah the old man dies and the new man is now alive and that is the man that Yahuwah sees that is the man that Yahuwah sees So there is no way, there is no way that you can want to be broken and still want to have the old man living. It don't work so. You're going to be in trouble and you're not going to make it into the kingdom. There's no way you want Yahuwah to break you and you're still listening to false prophets. You're, you're, You're still loving the lie. And you're living the lie. Yahuwah, yeah, yeah, we should tell the woman at the well, y'all know y'all worship, you know, you don't even know. But the time has come when those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. And that is where I'll end off today. And I am praying that. Yahuwah will continue to bless us and keep us and make his face shine upon us and that his glory will um, be with us forevermore. If any of you have anything to say before we leave, um, you, can, you can go ahead now on the lesson or, or your personal testimony, anything of the sort. It's just that, it's just that um, more and more I feel the need to be set upon. It's like you have to like go into the world like Moses, be up to the mountain, mm-hmm. just meditate and mm-hmm. be with the Most High. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like that kind of feeling. Like everything else, everything in the world doesn't make sense to me right now. It's like mm. everything mm. that we, we we hold on strong to is just it's like just for a time. It's just vanity. Yeah. It's just. You know, everything is just false. You know, the the the, the title of, of yeah the name of this ministry is Berean Hebrew Evangelism. But you know, Sister Veli, you know the title of evangelism is is almost done. Wow. And and it's just what you said a while ago. You know, yeah, who already has his people. 
And just so Hasatan numbering his people, so is Yahuwah. Like the system and, is like stifling, and, it's like and, keeping you what, down. Yeah, what right. Yahuwah yeah. is going to do, what Yahuwah is doing right now is the people that he has already called, he is perfecting them. So this is why the scripture says, when we go into the wilderness, he's going to be pleading with us. It's a perfection. It's where he literally wants sin to be completely out of us. No rebels going in the wilderness. You want to know who outside the kingdom? The scriptures make it clear now. All the fornicators, the adulterers, the liars, the sorcerers. All these people are outside the kingdom, you know. It's you who have decided to follow Yahuwah. Now we got 10 minutes. It's you who decide to follow Yahuwah. Yahuwah wants to make sure now you're perfect. So he's going to be pleading with you to make sure that even though he's bringing you out of Babylon, make sure Babylon is out of you. You're not going to make the same mistake twice. Because when he took the children of Egypt out of Egypt, Egypt was still in them. You understand? So this time around is going to be a little different. So the time of evangelism where we're, 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 we're looking for people and it's, it's almost done. Yeah, who is going to call people to go in mountains now? To go in your closets more and be separate because he has his special word for you. Yahuwah needs to show you who you are in the kingdom and your place. So you're going to start to feel the need like Enoch now to go in a cave. And if you read the book of Enoch, Enoch started yeah. to just separate himself mm -hmm. from the people mm -hmm. at little time, a month. At first it was a week. Then it was a month. A whole year passed in the sea. Two years passed in the sea. Look, to when they started to see Enoch, there was a glow and a shine upon his face that they couldn't even look at him. Because his presence now was engulfed in Yahuwah. And that is what Yahuwah is calling the people right now in these last days to do. So that he can put the prophecy in us. Your young men will dream dreams. Yeah, your old men will dream dreams, the young men will have visions. They will remember, you understand? These things can't happen unless you're set apart and you literally spend quality time with Yahuwah. Can't happen. He has to be alive. And it's like what Sister Valley was saying. You have, a, have to have a hatred for the system, the government, every, everything is set up for you to be comfy. And we can see that it's a temporal comfort that that Hasatan has devised for us to take our eyes off of spiritual things. Mm -hmm. So unless we have that hatred for everything with regards to the system, we're not going to have that Enoch moment where mm -hmm. we're going to, you know, set us apart and be apart and go in our secret place because we still have our carnal eyes. We still want the land and the houses and to be respected oh boy, of oh boy, men oh and all and oh all boy. these things that makes us who we Have are, mercy are and, me, and until we we figure out that this is just um just a veil you know we're not gonna mm -mm, we we are always gonna think that we're okay I think that we're okay as long as we go to church and we you know we have these little assemblies that we're gonna be all right in yeah, eyes. Mm. That is so true. That I, I couldn't put it better. And 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 what and what is gonna be happening now, you know? What is gonna be happening now is a situation where and I'm feeling it. I'm even getting called. I feel like I have to go in the mountain for like two, three days and separate mm. myself. Mm -hmm. That call that call is getting stronger and stronger now. Because we have to get in a position where you're so in tune with Yahuwah when he speaks, you can hear him. Mm -hmm. You can hear him. Right? And where the devil know, because the devil in his last days, his mission is to do one thing, you know, to deceive. Yeah. 
And a lot of these programs and a lot of the things that are coming this year is going to be mass deception. It's going to be mass deception. Oh, La Cicerelli. <laughs> right? Um, it's going to be mass deception. But I am praying that to work towards um, staying in focus with Yahuwah. Staying in his way. Because if we continue like this, if we continue like this, uh, hold on one second. Sister Velia, there? <laughs> okay. Yeah, what happened a while ago? Oh, I, I, I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> but I, I was just saying, <laughs> um, th there's going to be a need because I'm, I'm getting a strong need to go into the mountains and separate myself for like three, four days and just talk to Yahuwah, right? And eventually, um, we're going to meet up one of these days and have a little um, session and pray together and just seek Yahuwah because mm. every time Yahuwah has a word, he usually separates his prophet into the wilderness. He usually separates his people into the wilderness mm. and um, he wants us to just do away with the, the whole world, do away with the system and just focus solely on him. Yahuwah wants all the attention on him. This is why he's a jealous Elohim. Right? Um, and 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 we go through our days and my goodness we don't even pray enough we don't even we don't even seek him enough and we give attention to everything else and yahuwah is like i'm right here where's my time where's my time where's my devotion sometimes i don't even ask you for much you know you know reason of a service you know i don't even ask you for much just just give me a little time i need to talk with you you know i need to make sure you're okay and and this is this is what's going to happen in this particular season we are going to be be set apart and separate so the evangelism is oh boy the door is closing it's like the last year for noah to warn the people the door is closed Noah don't start putting stuff inside the ark get the bed ready and everything because once that door shut that's it we're actually at the preparation now where Noah is 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 getting ready to bunker down for what is to come so this is what I call the last call last call Yes. That's why I don't push too much, you know. Is that you're hearing this message or you don't? I'm not trying to convince nobody else. And some people coming to the truth now, they're finding it hard because they have to play catch up. Better late than never, though. Yeah. Right? And so I'm just I'm continuing to pray to my family yeah. members. But it's it's obviously it's obvious so that people start to pick sides. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. People are hard in Christianity. And everything the pastor say they believe. Everything the pastor say they believe. And they will not seek the truth to themselves. Right? So I just continue to encourage you, um, brethren, once more, to continue to live your entire life for Yahusha and and to be set apart for him solely. Right? Um, and to admonish sin to do away with sin lest something worse come to us having known all this truth and coming so close to be a castaway now it would be the worst thing ever it'd be the worst thing ever right so um, let me just close that close in a word of prayer father yeah thank you for this lesson thank you for bringing us closer again together Thank you for your word and your truths. For we know, Yahuwah, that you are the breaker. And that you will break us up out of this Babylonian system and bring us into your promised land once more. We can't wait for you to shepherd us back to the kingdom. Father, we can't wait 
for your kingdom to come as it is in heaven so it will be here on earth and so Yahuwah continue to break us and let us put down our own idols and to serve only you with our whole heart, mind, body, and soul. All these mercies I ask in the precious name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, family. Shabbat Shalom. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Thank you. The root of all wisdom is the fear. If you wanna.